Okay, the wait's over for pilots at Luke Air Force Base in Glendale. Today, the first of 145. F-35s arrived. ABC 15's Katie Connor was there for the big moment. And Katie, uh, a lot of excitement over these jets, that's for a, sure. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of excitement. The F-35 is the newest military jet with cutting-edge technology. And in fact, the pilots wear a futuristic helmet that lets them control parts of their plane by just their voice. Look high in the sky, and you'll spot the most advanced fighter jet in the country. The jet has a lot of get up and go. It likes to fly. Pilot Mike Lebner has been in the Air Force for 16 years. Flying this new F 35 is something he'll never forget. The aircraft itself, I really believe, will be the foundation for the United States Air Force. Today, the first F 35 arrived at Luke Air Force Base. This is the first aircraft of about 16 or so that we expect to receive through the calendar year. The new fleet replaces the old F-16s. The jets are vastly different. Pilots control these new planes mostly through voice-activated helmets. We bring advanced stealth, speed, agility, weaponry, and most importantly, an avionic system. However, instructors, pilots, and trainees can't move in just yet. The jets require different equipment and training facilities. Colonel John Hanna says this project is good news for the local economy. Construction will range somewhere on the order of 260 million, and of that, again, about 80% of that going to the local. Economy. Only time will tell if this multi million dollar project lives up to all the hype. But Pilot Ebner says it will. It's the foundation of future generations of uh, fighter pilots for the next 70 years. And one common question or concern about these fighter jets is the noise. F 35s are twice as loud as the F 16s. Even though that sounds like a lot, experts say to the human ear, there's almost no difference. Katie and Steve, it's pretty much like comparing a lawnmower to an actual motorcycle. Yeah, it will be interesting to see if the people yes. who live out there yeah. say the same thing. Thanks Definitely. so much, Katie.